good evening everybody welcome into the broadcast booth today we're coming to you from the hubert h humphrey metrodome in minneapolis minnesota for our game seven broadcast of the 2020 Treaton College Fighting Narwhals football season where they'll, where they'll be taking on Minnesota in uh, to start the second half of the season. I'm your host Walter Moore and as always my uh, salacious and bodacious co-host John P. Wallers is here. John say hello to the folks. Well, thanks so much, Walt. I'm really glad to be here today. I've got a couple pieces of information. Uh, first off, I want to thank uh, Minerva Green Fletcher for uh, sending in this fan art drawing of myself. Uh, I just love it, and I really appreciate it so much. Um, if you're a fan like Minerva, and you like what you're seeing here on these broadcasts, go ahead and take a minute to uh, hit subscribe. And if you'd like, you can uh, subscribe to the notifications as you as well so that you know when all the new Treaton College football games uh, go live. Really excited about that and thanks so much Minerva. You really know how to charm them, John, I'll tell you what. Well, we're six games into this season, which means we're halfway done. Wanted to bring you some stats on the first half of the season. We'll go through some of the key players here real quick. Roland DeShane, the quarterback, has been 49 of 88, completing 55% of his passes for just over 1,000 yards, 14 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. Ralph S. Maus has had 66 attempts for 379 yards, a 5.7 yard average, and four TDs. Big number here is that he's had 172 of those yards come after first contact. The kid get, gets hit and keeps on going. Two big wide receivers, Achilles, 16 receptions for 478 yards and seven TDs. Ramona Quimby, age eight, 13 receptions for 311 yards and four TDs. Now both of these wide receivers are averaging over 20 yards per reception, which is nearly unheard of in the NCAA. Um, on the defense, Jean Valjean leads the team with 20 tackles, four of them for a loss. The Mandalorian's got 15 tackles, four of them for loss and two interceptions. Inspector Javert leads the team in sacks with four. And uh, one of my MVPs of the first half, Detective Dale Coopers, got 14 tackles, two interceptions, a uh, forced fumble, and eight passes defended. Now, we highlighted Medusa early on in the year, but uh, it seems like Dale Coopers really stepped up in that defensive secondary. This is for Pufferfish in the uh, kicking game. He's gone 10 for 11 on his field goals with a long of 55 yards. A uh, real big leg out of this kid. Really looking forward to seeing if he can compete for that Garza Trophy here in the second half of the season. Well, Treaton's been bumped up to number four in the national rankings. Ahead of them is uh, Virginia Tech, Auburn, Miami, and uh, their rival Ohio State. We'll see if those ch uh, rankings change as the season goes forward. you got to be in number one or number two spot to make that national championship game. So here's hope into that. One little news uh, item here before we get started. It seems like Piggy will now be returning punts and kicks for the Narwhals. So uh, maybe a little infusion there in the return game on special teams will help out the Narwhals, you know, a little bit more than what they've been getting out of Medusa. Now she's done a fine job, but uh, a little bit of infusion of youth energy there could really uh, help that special teams game. Well, Without further ado, we'll get you down to the field for kickoff. The Hubert H. Humphrey Stadium. Today's matchup is between the Minnesota Golden Gophers and the away team. All right, the teams are on the field. Minnesota's going to be kicking off. Treaton won the toss and elected to receive. So they'll get the first crack at scoring a touchdown today. And here's the kick. Ball is fielded by Piggy. Makes a spin move. Falls forward. Out to the 31 yard line. That's where Treaton will start their day on offense. Rolling under center, takes a snap, looking to throw. Nope, he's going to run the ball himself, and he's brought down for a one-yard gain. They keep going to that QB draw, and it hasn't really uh, paid off for him yet this year. It hasn't, John. 
Rolling in the shotgun. Takes a snap. Looking to throw. Throws right side. Caught by Ramona Quimby. It's a nice gain there. 27-yard gain. First down for Treaton. Rolling under setter. No back. Takes a snap. He's going to throw. Throws right. Little pass to the pigeon. Who gets clobbered there. And looks like he injured his chest on the play. Oh, that's not good. That's not good, Walt. No, he's got a pretty reliable backup in number 66, Sheev Palpatine. Roland tosses right to Ralph S. Mouse, who makes a spin move and brought down. No gain on that play. They'll bring up a third down for Treaton. It looks like the pigeon will only be out for uh, two quarters. It's good news, good news, Walt. Ralph S. Mouse motions. Roland's dropping back, gonna throw. Gets hit and goes down. That's a big sack for that Minnesota defense. Loses five on that, and that'll bring up fourth and 11. So Treat and College fighting Narwhals are gonna punt. Here's Finding Nemo with the kick. That ball goes in the end zone for a touchback, and Minnesota will start their offensive day on the 20-yard line. You know, it's uh, one thing to elect to kick and score, or elect to receive and score, but if you take the ball in the first half and you don't score, then uh, you're losing the field position battle already. Well, there was a big run from Heisman Candidate running back number 21, 14 yards out. Stopped by Dale Cooper. They give the ball to the fullback here. Falls forward for four yards. Stopped by Robin Hood. Minnesota offense right back up to the line. Under center, single back. Turns, gives the running back. Makes a move, brought down. Nick Fury from his cornerback position was right in the middle of that one. Yeah, I don't know what we got there, but that kid's a ball hawk. Third and five for Minnesota. Takes, gives to the running back. Nothing doing, tackled for loss. Well, that was a gain of one. Stopped by Ignatius J. Riley, but that forces a punt. Here's the Minnesota kicker on the punt. That one's fielded by Piggy. Makes a move, runs right into a defender. Piggy took that one to the 27 yard line. That's where Treaton will start. Yeah, I'm really excited. Let's see if uh, Treaton can get something going here. Rollins under center. He's going to throw. Throws right. The ball's caught. Out of bounds. Number 80, King Arthur on a seven-yard reception there. Second and three. Narwhal's in a shotgun. Roland takes. Throws over the middle. Just a little too far for Achilles. Yeah, I think on that play, uh, Achilles got uh, jammed at the line and couldn't really complete his route, so that's why that one was incomplete. Well, they're lined up in the eye. They're going to give to Ralph S. Mouse. He doesn't get it. It's a two-yard gain, but uh, it's going to bring up fourth down and force the Narwhals to punt. Here's Finding Nemo, second punt of the game. That one's fielded. The Minnesota player tried to make a move, but Big Jim Hopper was right there to bring him down. Those open field tackles are just so important, so important. Stopping punts and on certain offensive plays to stop a guy one-on-one -on -one is just a, a, a great skill to have, just like you've seen there with uh, Robin Hood. Yeah, that was a big tackle on that toss play by Robin Hood. He had the running back one-on-one -on -one and took him right down. Well, that'll be the end of the first quarter. Hey there, Biff Wilson here for Mayor of Trenton. As you know, we have some of the most beautiful public lands in our whole state, our, our city of Treaton. But I'll tell you what, every once in a while when you're out hiking, do you feel like I could really go for maybe a, a nice sausage 
or maybe one of them soda fountain pops or even those ring pops you know those pops you know the ring pops you know I'll tell you what I can't ever find them out here so you vote for Biff Wilson for mayor of Treaton I will put a convenience store on every public land on every trail every hiking trail we'll have as much slurpees as you want Biff Wilson for mayor Paid for by Biff Wilson for Mayor 2020. Go Biff. Hey, some animal pooped over here. Whose poop is this? Way to sneak that one in there, John. Well, it's my pleasure. I know it is, because it certainly is not mine. All right, Minnesota has a second and 16 here. Start the second quarter. Quarterback drops back to pass, looking to throw. Left side, that ball's caught. That's a 36-yard gain for this Minnesota offense. They're in treating territory. Quarterback turns and gives. Running back finds a hole. Runs forward for an eight-yard gain. The Mandalorian on the stop there. Minnesota's just going to keep this momentum going. We got a second and two. Quarterback under center. Takes the ball. He's going to throw. Looking, looking. Brought down. Oh, there's a fumble. And the Treaton defense recovers. That was a fantastic play. Yeah, big hit there, big hit. And uh, what a nose for the ball to find it and fall on it. First play when they get it back. Given to Ralph S. Mouse. Second and nine for Treaton. Rollins under center. Throws. That ball's caught. Fantastic pitch and catch for 34 yards right there. Yeah, that's the second big uh, pass that King Arthur has caught this game. I just love the way this kid plays. All right. Treaton's on the move. There's a pass to Jim Hopper. Seven yard gain. Second and three. They can get a first down, they don't have to score. Come out in the offset eye. Roland takes. He's going to throw. Tosses left. Wide open in the end zone for the touchdown. Ramona Quimby, age eight. Puffer fish on for the extra point, and Treaton jumps out 7 0. 239 left in the second quarter. Here's the kickoff. Minnesota's going to field it, brings it out, takes a wallop of a hit there and falls forward to the 14-yard line. It's so important to uh, score first in a game, and I I'm glad that Treaton was able to get on the board, even though it took them a little while in the, uh, until the second quarter, but uh, this bodes well for this Narwhal team. There's a stop there, five-yard gain. Second and five for Minnesota. Turns, gives the running back again. Robin Hood again from that outside linebacker spot. Stops him for a gain of one, so that brings up third and four. Minnesota quarterback under center, turns, gives to the running back. Brought down again, that's no gain. Craig Jones there on that tackle. Treaton called the timeout there, stopped the clock, try and score again before the end of the half. Minnesota forced to punt. Piggy fields it, breaks a tackle, doesn't break a second one. Brought down uh, at their own 49-yard line, so another short field to work with. Roland takes, he's throwing right. That ball's caught again. Ramona Quimby. 27-yard completion there. They needed that if they're going to try and score here. Roland's going to throw again. Throws right again. Another pass caught by Quimby, but fumbled. And a Treaton player had the awareness to jump on the ball there, so no turnover. 
It's going to bring up first and goal at the seven yard line for Treaton. Good awareness. Good awareness jumping on that ball. All right, Roland's going to pass again. Tosses a wide open again across the middle. Ramona Quimby for the Treaton College fighting Narwhals touchdown. Puffer fish on for the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to nothing. Treating fighting college, treating college fighting narwhals. There's the kickoff. Fifty-one seconds to go till half. I'm thinking that Minnesota is going to want to just uh, run this clock out. We'll see what they do here. Yeah, it'd be a good idea for him to just run it out, take it into halftime, and regroup. Toss left to the running back, brought down, fumble. Well, it looks like that running back got hit there by Jean Valjean, and I believe that was Inspector Javert that jumped on it. Well, Treaton's gonna have another chance to score here. Those ball hawks on the defense are just hitting real hard today. Roland's going to throw. Throws left. Caught. Touchdown, Narwhals! Boy, this has been a whirlwind second quarter. 21 unanswered points since about the three-minute mark in this second quarter. And Treaton's going to go up 21-0. Yeah, real turn of events here uh, for the Narwhals. They were uh, playing an even game with Minnesota and then uh, rolling to Quimby and uh, for a touchdown and then another one to Achilles uh, and a second one to Ramona Quimby makes it 21 to nothing. I'm going to suggest again that Minnesota just takes this into halftime. I don't know if they're going to do that here. Quarterback's under center. Got two backs behind him. Turns, runs the option. Pitches left. Running back makes two moves. A lot of work for a five-yard gain there. You're going to have to run one more play before halftime. No back set for Minnesota. Quarterback takes. Going to throw, throws down the left side, incomplete. Yeah, it looked like that one was on track to be caught by the wide receiver, but I think the quarterback just overthrew him. Well, they're going to run the ball one more time here at the end of the half. Short gain, but that'll take us right to halftime. So at this point, it is 21 to nothing, treating college fighting narwhals. Well, welcome into halftime, everybody. A uh, flurry of offense there in the uh, second half of the second quarter gives Treaton a 21-0 lead over Minnesota. Touchdown passes, two of them to Ramona Quimby and one of them to Achilles, all from Roland DeShane, equals out to that 21. Uh, John, what did you see in the first half? Well, I was a little worried uh, in the first quarter. Uh, Treaton went to the second quarter without scoring any points, um, and then that big thing flurry of offense there uh, towards the end of the first half really uh, boosted my confidence in this team. Uh, the running game uh, was a little bit absent, but uh, those touchdown passes that Roland threw to Quimby and Achilles just loved them, just loved them, and they're up 21-0 at half. Well, you might not have to run the ball. Uh, the quarterback's got great rapport with his receivers, and right now they're enjoying a big, big lead here at halftime. All right, well, John wanted to introduce the ad from one of our local sponsors, so John, go ahead and take it away. Well, this next uh, sponsor is uh, one of my good friends. I know him from the Treaton Puppet Board. He's not in that capacity today, uh, but uh, I just love me some uh, Herschel Napstein, so take a look. Hey there, folks. It's your old friend Herschel Napstein, and I'm legally obligated to say that I'm not at this moment serving my role as executive assistant to the Treaton Puppet Board of Trustees. That's right, Hershey's Moonlighting. And tonight I'm here to talk to you about my good friends at Treaton Sasquatch Product Layaway and Overstock Closeout House, known to the cool kids as Splach. That's right, Spock has all of your favorite Sasquatch products at bargain basement prices and 90 day terms. Why, we've got maple bars, two for 12 or three for 36. Only one owner, what an amazing value, and only at Spock. We've got fresh army surplus Squatch musk in 55 gallon drums, 29 or two for 60. That's only at Spock. We've got Uncle Yeti Sasquatch attractive pole, complete with a year's supply of dumpster juice brand Sasquatch attractive. Now sold separately by court order. And that is, as of course, only at Spock. 
We've got ordnance compliant steam tables free with any volume side paneer purchase only at Splach. These prices are so low, they're enough to make this sock say, Don it! So get you and your family down to Splach. Sasquatch product layaway and overstock close at house in the corner of Weagle Pick and Langer Hands and Trade Spin on Store Fondue District. Remember, sounds like a bargain, it sounds like Splach! Produced entirely by Herschel's Commercial LLC, available for reasonable prices for all your treating local business production commercial need. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Not quite sure what any of that means, but uh, glad to have the sponsorship. Seems to me a lot you don't understand, Walt. All right, so we're back on the field here for the second half. Treaton has uh, negative one rushing yards on the day, but uh, those three touchdown passes from Roland DeShane have really boosted this offensive output, and they're sitting here with a comfortable lead at halftime. Well, the Narwhals got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to Minnesota. Here's the kick. Minnesota receives it, brings it out. Looks like their star running back, number 21, fielded that one, got hit hard, and he's going to take a break with an injury. We'll look for an update. Yeah, that's a big blow to this Minnesota team. That running back was the heart and soul of this team. Minnesota quarterback under center, fakes the give. He's going to throw down the middle. That ball's batted away, incomplete. Looks like halfback 21 for Minnesota will be back in this game. Minnesota quarterback takes, gives. Big hit by all might in the middle. We don't call his name a lot, but uh, All Might is the glue that holds this street and defense together. And, and when he can make a big play like that, uh, the other boys on the, on the defense uh, take note. Well, Minnesota's going to throw here. That was a big hit by Medusa on the outside. That ball falls incomplete. It's fourth and 13, and Minnesota will punt. Piggy's back to receive on this one. Takes it at about the 50, runs forward, breaks one tackle, but is brought down at the opponent's 39. So that's where Treaton's going to start at Minnesota's 39 yard line. No back set. Arthur motions across the formation. Roland under center. He's going to take, looking to throw. Throws right. That ball's caught. And who else? Ramona, yeah, Ramona Quimby. 104 yards receiving on the day already. Fantastic performance for a young Miss Quimby. Rolling with the single back. Takes, looking to throw, throws left. That ball's caught again by Quimby. I think I know who my player of the game is already. If I could give her walrus of the game, I would. All right, so Roland's going to throw, surveying, throws right. That ball's caught by Elephant Gerald and taken in for the Treaton College fighting Narwhals touchdown. Boy, the big boy out of the backfield caught that pass, turned up field, and scored. I've said before how much I love Elephant Gerald, and uh, it's really nice for him to uh, uh, get a touchdown reception here. I know he had a rushing one last week, but uh, receiving one is uh, uh, just proving how good the kid's hands are and uh, makes him feel good. All right, so treating with the kickoff. That one goes to the in into the end zone for a touchback. Minnesota's really going to have to get something going. I mean, uh, it's going to be tough for them to win this game, but they've got to prove to themselves that uh, this is an aberration and that uh, they're going to have a good season going forward. That ball was completed to number 84 for 27 yards, but he got hit hard and is walking off with an injury. First and 10 for Minnesota. Quarterback takes and is looking to throw. Over the middle, incomplete. Just buzzed that one in there. 
Yeah, a little too fast, a little too hard for the uh, Minnesota wide receiver to get his hands on. Motion across the formation. Eye backs behind him, gives to the running back. Hit hard, gain a one, and Dale Cooper comes up from that free safety position to lay the wood. Third and nine for Minnesota. Eye back set. Quarterback's gonna throw, he's got time. Tosses out right. That ball was caught, but then the wide receiver got hit pretty hard and dropped it. That'll bring up fourth and nine, and Minnesota's gonna punt here. Piggy's back to receive. Calls for the fair catch. That one hits the turf and just kind of stays there. Minnesota picks it up, downs it at the Treaton Narwhal seven yard line. So if they're gonna score here, they've gotta go 93 yards. I've seen them do it in two plays before, Walt. I got confidence. Well, there's a pass over the middle. And he overthrew King Arthur. Looked like he was aiming for Achilles there. Achilles has the speed to get that ball. Arthur does not. Ralph has out, Mouse motions out. Roland's gonna throw over the middle. Big hit there. That ball was thrown to Jim Hopper couldn't hang on to it after that smackdown by the Minnesota linebacker. No back set again for the Narwhals. Roland's gonna throw. Looking left, throws. That one's caught for the first down. King Arthur there. 12 yard gain. Roland turns and gives to Elephant Gerald, bowls his way over a couple defenders. Gain of eight yards. The kid is just so versatile, so versatile, a nightmare for defenses to game plan for. Offset eye for the Narwhals. Mouse motions out. Roland's gonna throw. Gets hit as he throws. That ball came out weird. Incomplete. Yeah, uh, Roland's kind of got to be set and uh, put his whole body behind the throw to get there, and, and that didn't happen on that one. All right, so the Narwhals. Roland's going to fake the give to Mouse, throwing right. That ball's caught by Quimby. Four-yard gain on a little wide receiver screen there. Coming up to the end of the third quarter here. Roland takes, throws left. Ooh. That one was tipped by the defender intended for Achilles. Yeah, Achilles has been really quiet today. Uh, I think they've been relying on Quimby for most of these uh, big chunk pass plays today. Roland's in the shotgun, he takes, he's running the option, takes it himself up the middle, breaks the tackle, falls forward, nine yard gain. Third down and one. Turns, gives to Ralph S. Mouse, hurdles the defender, and brought down for five yard gain. That's gonna be a uh, first down, and that looks like it's the end of the third quarter. And at this point, Treat and College fighting Narwhals are up 28 nothing on Minnesota. Well, with this big lead, the coach has put in the second string offense. We should see some new names on both the offense and defense today in this fourth quarter. Roland turns and gives to King Arthur, who's now playing fullback, who gains seven yards. Anyone on this second team you're looking forward to seeing, John? Yeah, I'll tell you about it when this defense takes the field, because there's some big walruses up front that I just love. Well, Pete the Cat's taking a throw. That ball is complete to Sheev Palpatine for 11 yards. Number 66, Sheev Palpatine. So that's first and 10 for the Narwhals. Pete the Cat's in the shotgun. He takes, he's gonna take it himself and get smacked as he's going up the middle. That's a loss of one, bringing up second and 11. Pete's gonna run him himself again on that second and 11 play, gains two yards. Kinda odd for the coach to call two quarterback draws right in a row, we'll see. So it's third and nine. 
Pete the Cat drops back to pass. Looking. Throws right. That ball is picked off. There he goes. A linebacker picked that ball off, and he had a nice return there. He returned it to the Minnesota 42. Let's see if they can try and score here. Quarterback turns and gives the halfback. Runs up the right side. Short gain, three yards, brought down by Andre Johnson. All right, second and seven. Fake the give, throws right, picked off. There he goes. 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Narwhals. Little Lord Footleroy with the pick six for the touchdown. Boy, that was a great bait. Play. He just stepped in front of that ball, and, and there was no no one could stop him. He just took off down the sideline and scored the touchdown. Well, that's the first defensive touchdown for this Narwhal team this year. And with this extra point, that extends the lead to 35 0. You know, we were talking, John, about whether or not this team is back. Do you think they are? I'm not sure yet, but I'm liking the way they're playing today. Well, that last kickoff went for a touchback. Brings the ball out to the 20. That's where Minnesota's going to start. Quarterback under center. Takes. He's going to throw. Throws right. That ball's caught. Nice gain on that one. Quarterback turns, fakes the give, throws over the middle. That ball is incomplete. Yeah, that one was defended by a backup little middle linebacker, Flat Stanley out of Ontario, Canada. That kid's real elusive. The quarterback runs an option there and keeps it. Brought down by number 45, Frank Hardy. Talked to Hardy before the game. He said that one of his big hobbies is him and his brother solve mysteries. I asked him if it was anything serious. He said, nah, missing keys, you know, that kind of thing. It's good to have a hobby. Good to have a hobby. And speaking of, uh, that was a big tackle there by defensive tackle number 63, Homer Simpson. We haven't seen him much this year, but uh, he's filling in for uh, Ignatius Riley and Craig Jones quite well there. Well, Minnesota's punting, fielded by Piggy, dodges a couple defenders, brings it up. So with a minute 14 left, Treat and College fighting Narwhals are going to take the ball over and try and run this clock out. Pete the Cat gives to King Arthur, runs over the left side. Four-yard gain on that, keeps the clock moving. I formation behind Pete the Cat. Motion across. Gives to the fullback King Arthur who's just knocked there behind the line of scrimmage. All right, third and seven. They're going to have to run one more play here. The play clock is shorter than the game clock. So he turns and gives to King Arthur again. Pulls over a defender. And I think these narwhals are going to pack it up and go home with a big win over Minnesota here today. Your final score, 35 nothing. All right, welcome in to the end of the game. Treating college fighting narwhals. Take this one from Minnesota, 35 to nothing. Some stats for you. Roland DeShane was 15, or 20, two, 15 of 20 for 209 yards and four TDs. Ramona Quimby had eight receptions for 123 yards and two TDs. Uh, Elephant Gerald and Achilles both had a touchdown reception each. Um, one of the issues, they only had 35 rushing yards on the game between all rushers. But uh, when the score looks the way it does, I'm not going to worry too much about it. My player of the game is Ramona Quimby, her eight receptions for 123 yards. Uh, to start the season, I think she only had 13 or 14, so adding eight catches in a single game really bodes well for uh, her rapport with Roland DeShane going forward. Now, John, who is your walrus of the game? 
Well, my walrus of the game is Inspector Javert. He had two tackles, one of them for a loss, a sack, and a forced fumble that was recovered by Treaton and eventually led to a Treaton Narwhal touchdown. Uh, just great play out of Inspector Javert there. Great choice there. I do want to highlight the Treaton defense scored their first touchdown of the season. It was a 54-yard interception return for a touchdown by little Lord Fauntleroy. We'll see how, how much of an impact he makes on that defense going forward. Well, tune in to AADL.TV for our next broadcast Thursday night at 8 p.m. Until then, have a good one.